What are some ways your Maltese might be expressing affection towards you? Because your Maltese can't speak, it can only display love to you through its body language. So, here are top 10 ways of knowing that your Maltese loves you. Number 1. Sleeping in your bedroom. If you don't allow your Maltese to sleep in your bed, but it still likes to sleep in your bedroom, it really loves you. Why? Wanting to be close to you while you're sleeping signals that it's totally loyal and doesn't want to be separated from the pack. Number 2. It's happy when you get home. Does your dog jump up and down, lick your hands and face, bring you its favorite toy, or even excited pee a little bit when you get home from work, school, or errands? Yep, it's absolutely thrilled to see you. And chances are, you're very excited to see your pup too. Number 3. It carries your shoes and stinky socks around. Maltese who are attached to their owners also love their owner's scents and may raid your shoe pile or laundry basket for stinky socks, t-shirts, or even underwear. Stealing shoes and dirty clothes aren't always the best thing especially if your dog likes to chew, but you can prevent inappropriate chewing by giving your dog plenty of engaging toys or safe chew toys. Number 4. Seeking Physical Contact Physical affection can be important for your relationship with your Maltese. We're not saying you should pick up your dog and give it a super tight bear hug. Rather, pets, cuddles, leans, and maybe even gentle hugs are strong signals that you and your dog are truly bonded. Number 5. It pees when it sees you know. It's not a sign that its potty training is regressing. Dogs, especially puppies, may pee a little bit when they get excited, but most dogs grow out of this behavior and are able to hold their urine when they're happy to see you. Number 6. Leaning against you. Like maintaining eye contact, you're probably not going to lean up against someone you don't know or trust, and neither will your Maltese. Whether you're sitting on the floor or couch, if your dog leans against you, it means it feels safe, secure, and totally comfortable. Sometimes dogs will lean against their humans when they're feeling scared or anxious, but that only means it sees you as its protector. Number 7. They follow you around. For some of us, having a canine companion in the house is a bit like having a second shadow and being followed from room to room is always a good sign our pup is feeling the love. Checking in on you and accompanying you wherever you go is often a dog's way of showing they care. But don't take it as a bad sign if your dog doesn't always trot along after you whenever you leave the couch and head into the kitchen. Some dogs are more independent than others, so if they're not always by your side, it doesn't mean they don't love you. Number 8. They yawn with you. Yawning has been long regarded as a sign of empathy amongst some social animal species, such as primates. The fact that your Maltese is yawning when it sees or hears you yawning may be a sign that they have an empathetic bond with their owner. Dogs can yawn for a variety of reasons, like tiredness, stress, or to defuse potential threats, egg, stranger dogs, or humans, which are the traditional ways researchers have interpreted yawning in dogs. Number 8. You can see it in their facial expression. The Maltese are known for having a very expressive face, which should make this next point a bit easier for you to identify. Subtle. Expressions in your Maltese's face include raised or wiggling eyebrows, perked ears, and a toothy, open-mouth smile. Their overall expression should be warm and relaxed, perhaps a little attentive. They may also appear to be gazing or seeking attention from you and will look into your eyes when the opportunity arises. A combination of these signs is your Maltese's way of saying that you are important to him slash her and that they care about you. As in humans, the act of gazing into the eyes of another releases the chemical hormone oxytocin. Oxytocin plays a vital role in social bonding and makes both you and your Maltese feel good and encourages further gazing between you and your fur baby. Number 9. Holding eye contact. If someone makes you feel uncomfortable, unsafe, or threatened, would you stare deeply into their eyes? No way. Long, sustained eye. Contact is reserved for people you love, trust, and feel safe with. The same goes for dogs. Maintaining eye contact isn't just a useful tool while you're training your dog. It can help you create a deep bond, too. In fact, when your dog looks at you, its brain releases oxytocin, known as the love hormone. Oxytocin is the same hormone mother's brains release when they're first bonding with their babies. The key is to maintain natural eye contact while you're playing or cuddling. 
If you force eye contact with your dog, it'll probably get a little uncomfortable and look away. Number 10. They perk up at your name. Yes, Maltese know to come when they hear their names, but what about yours? If you see your dog's ears perk up or their whole head swivel, if you're lucky, when someone says your name, this means they are so connected to you they want to be involved at the mere mention of you. Whether you're physically present or simply spoken of in passing, your dog is all ears.